Guys, welcome back to the Jody Wild Camper. Back out on another adventure. posted for a little while. I've been on some adventures but nothing worth bringing you along for. Now today might be a different story. I'm back in the Lake District. The weather's looking phenomenal and I've got a nice little route set up. I'm in the beautiful Newlands Valley. We're going to head up the Cat Bells. And we're going to make all the way along to High Spy and then from High Spy we're going to take a little bit of a dip down into Dalehead Torn. I'm torn, way to wild camp, so we'll see when we get to the top there. But I have got some new equipment to test out as well, so stick around for that if you want to see what that is, and I'll give you a little look. I'm going to set off, it's 12.26, so I'm anticipating this taking two to three hours. Let's see, let's see how we get on. That's what we're going to head up. Straight up there. I think I've got a wasp chasing us. Ah, really? Jesus. What's going on? The path up here is really well maintained. I can see this being fairly straightforward to start off with, which is nice. You can see some of them views behind. Lovely. That's what I want more of. Guys, anyone that's new to the channel, I am the Geordie Wild Camper and I'm on a mission to show you some views and brews and we're definitely going to have some views today. If you like what you see, drop us a comment, hit the like button and subscribe. It really will help the channel grow a little bit further. Uh, and we'll have some fun along the way so stick around to see what I'm getting up to so guys we're just probably about halfway up there's a little bit of a scramble at the top there if you can see that very small not much not very technical but actually been really really pleasant to get up here really pleasant it must be like 20 degrees something like that red hot So this is the summit of Cat Bells up there. I was actually wrong. So I thought it was over there. It's not. So I'm just checking them up there. So we need to get to the top of here. And we'll go along to something knots. And then on to High Spy. And down into Dalehead Town. Struggling a little bit for breath here. It's a little bit of a slog, but uh, last weekend, I was just around the corner then, the Borrowdale Valley, up along Helm Crag and then on to High Rays, which was a good six, six and a half, half hour walk, which was only about 12k, but it got us like, hopefully we should get some kind of similar views up here and find a nice place to pitch. took a little tip from um, Renegade Scott, he likes to bring a bottle of Lucasaid, I've done it twice and it's helped me massively now, like, especially in this heat, get the electrolytes and the sugars in you, brilliant, cheers for that buddy. So just plough along, this is a relatively flat bit which I can get stuck into, get a bit of pace going. Ready for that big climb up there. Whew. Honestly, what a day for it. The clouds just came in a little bit, which is nice because it's just taking that sun off because it was an absolute beating before. <clears throat> I've got Factor 50 on. I need to watch any of the other videos. I always forget, not this time. A little, little squirt on before I came in. 
<clears throat> and I've drove two, two and a bit hours up from Newcastle down, up, whichever way it is it's, uh, it's actually along west and then down I think is the way uh, but still had torn hopefully hopefully it's quite quiet I'm hoping maybe he's getting the water as well uh, get a little bit of a wash because I probably think I'm going to be a little bit stinky after this yeah. thanks to all you guys who watched the last video it actually done really well I think it's on something like 3,000 views loads of comments so brilliant I'm glad people are watching and enjoying it that's the point showcasing what I do and hopefully encouraging others just to get out and do it man didn't fuck about just get out you know didn't hum and haw if you've got any questions just shout up ask us you can find us on Instagram as well and on Facebook the Geordie Wild Camper uh, please drop us a message anything you need and I'll do my best right let's crack on up this hill So the weather's changed a little bit here. It has cooled off of us so slightly, which is nice. But it's brought about a real haze. This isn't technically the top of high race, but it's not as busy. High race, sorry, high spy. I've still got a canny view. Wow. And I'm guessing Dalehead Tarn's down there somewhere. So let's go and have a look. They're definitely alpaca llama type things. I don't know what you guys think, but I've um, I haven't done any of these camera walking in front of you sort of thing. One, because I cannot be asked, it takes a lot of time. And two, does it really add anything? I'd like to know. Put that in the comments if that's something you like to see. Or um, watching someone walk past the camera. It's pretty shit to be honest. Pretty shit. Unless you've got some epic views. Oh god, speaking of views, hold on. Oh. Yeah, we'll go. Nice. Yeah. Can you see them up there? I'll see if I can zoom in and, and post. Absolutely crackers. This bank holiday weekend, so I am expected to be busy, but um Capels was was busy, but from that point, um high spy. Had a few, not many times getting on a little bit. We're probably pushing all three maybe. You might not get some of the campers coming up a little bit later. Who knows? Don't fall in. Here to get here, not bad. Apologies if the wind noise is bad. Here it is. Oh my god, that's a little bit of rain. No. So this is what I was referring to. This bowling green here. Oh man, who's having fires, man? Honestly, how are you? Who's done that? Like scorching the rock. What a joke. Wow, some nice jagged edges there, 
looks good back on to high spy there and then down into the valley and there is the alpacas up there crazy alpacas I've just been chatting to uh, three three gents there Stella guys they're doing a little bit of a horseshoe and heading back down through the valley now um, so shout out nice to meet you guys apologies I can't remember my names I'm absolutely rubbish for that but uh, thanks very much Cheers for the uh, the chat. Right, had to make a quick uh, a quick escape because the rain came in. Not forecast for rain, but the rain's come in. I've got fucking dragonflies and everything in here already. Get out, man! Fuck's sake! Honestly, bugs. No, man, get out. You don't even like it in here? Bugs galore. Trying to get in because of the, the rain. Um, but this is the pretense light rock. A little bit of room in here. It's, it's quite spacious, I must admit. Probably uh, more spacious than the Hillyburg. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out how best to, to kind of configure it. Um, it's recently been seam sealed, so. It's a, it's, a, it's a good little test. Right guys, I'm just going to get some bait on. Champions League finals on as well, so I'm going to be listening to that on the radio, on the little Goodmans that I have, which is epic. Got a fire pot. This is Porcini Mushroom Risotto. Uh, I had this two weeks ago, very nice. 560 cals for roughly 125 grams, mate. 135 grams. Brilliant. It's going to boil up some water. That gives you a little look at what this looks like, but we are starting to see clear. So hopefully, we might get a little bit of a sunset. Get the drone out and get a little bit of that. But um, just met a the gentleman there who's, who's uh, camping on the the pitches down the bottom there, the bowling green pitches, a little bit crack, crack with him around kit and all that other stuff, you know, us wild campers talk about. Uh, so, shout out to you, nice to chat to you. Um, but what I am hoping for, let me think, am I? What I am hoping for is some stars, be able to get the t tent laid up, get some star photographs, a little bit of video. I'll be over the moon with that actually. So I'm um, just enjoying the view. As you can see the clouds behind us are clearing a little bit which is great. Um, just waiting for the fire pot to finish about another five minutes or so and I'm going to get stuck into that. Got a nice little coffee going as well. So all in all it's been a, a really successful journey. You know I'll start off with cat bells over the top of Maiden Moor and then into uh, High Spy and then down into Dalehead Tarn then tomorrow I'm going to head down the valley and follow it all the way around Pretense, really really happy with that as well, That's a, it's a quality bit of item quality bit of kit you can see the stitching and the workmanship into it is, is, is very good very very good, I'm, I'm very happy with that I am going to stick some um, some other guy lines on it just to strengthen it for wind. But yeah, wow, beautiful. We've got a couple of guys here. We've got one up in a Helm Compact 2, I think, up at the top there. And uh, a Zephyros behind us as well, Terra Nova, Wild Country, which is great. Mmm, this is good. I'll show you. See that? Porcini mushroom. Mmm. Nice. Well, that porcini mushroom was was quite nice actually. Uh, a little bit too too much. Um, don't know, it's probably missing something. Maybe it's a bit more salt and pepper, I don't know. God knows, but we're getting quite a nice night. Sun's setting over there, which hopefully I'll 
I'll get a few bits and bobs. So tonight, I'm going to be trying this new quilt. I'm saying new quilt. I've had it out once, and it was actually really, really good. It's the Flames Creed. It's a nice little green colour. I think they do it in yellow or orange as well. Which, what I've done is I've pushed my bag back just to push that out a little bit, a little bit more room, rather than leaving it out in the, the porch or the vestibule. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on top of the quilt. So any condensation, if it does get a little bit wet, it's going to go on here, and that'll be absolutely fine. And there's actually bags of room in here. Absolutely bags of room. I have to say I'm really impressed. But that's high spy there. Look at that, that's not too bad. It's nice. Done something slightly different as well because I was getting a bit sick of uh, wearing boots very heavy just a little bit uncomfortable the Solomons great in the winter but um, so you probably see I've actually got some trail runners on these new balance I think nitro maybe something like that or other I don't know nitrel version 5 or something daft like that but basically I've got a pair of waterproof socks as well which I'll put on if I need to but you know when we're uh, climbing the mountains these just these are just much more comfortable I just find them much easier to wear <laughs> I've got my leggings on as well because my shorts got wet but very comfortable Guys, it's about 10 past 11 now. Yeah, sun's finally gone down, We've got no stars, so um, I'm just gonna wrap it in for the night. some worse mornings not bad at all Right guys, all packed up, probably 30 minutes, 30, 35 minutes to get packed away. So quite happy with that, very, very easy. Just a little note on the uh, pre-tents light rock. I like it, that's a good tent. Uh, it was about five degrees last night, so that AliExpress quilt, uh, the Flames Creed, was tremendous, absolutely brilliant. Just what I needed. Um, I was actually really warm. I was just in a t-shirt and a pair of thermal bottoms, which were probably overkill to be honest. Um, but like I said, like I say every single video, leave no trace. So you see, 
that's a little patch where my big fat bum was and that's it right now i'm just going to head over to the right here follow this down left and you can see the path just coming down there and then down into the valley Hey right, guys, so I've just dropped into the valley here. No sun, unfortunately. Um, and I've just tried to figure something out here. I don't know if any of you guys can help us. DJI Mini 2. Can't seem to get the active track feature working. Now, as far as I know, I'm pretty sure it's been added. And there's no firmware update for me. If any of you guys know a little bit different, let me know. I've just stepped in a bog. These are the dangers of filming heading down. It's fairly rugged this track actually. Fairly rugged. So I'm just going to take my time. I say take my time. I'm aiming to get back to the car by about nine o'clock. So I've given myself ample time. tell you what I've come across another bowling green another one obviously lower down in the valley but if the weather's rubbish on your way up could be a place to stay who knows it's got water you'll probably even get in the pool and have a little bit of a wash I'll show you what two little spots three little spots Aye, couple of tents on there, no bother. This tiny little baby nude. Well, he stood on him. Very well camouflaged. There they are, the little bad lads. The alpacas. They're the ones that were up in the mountain. Ah. So that's where they came from. I thought someone was just taking the alpacas out for a day, you know, over the top of a couple of the mountains. Actually, I just thought I'd address something. So I've had a lot of people asking me around uh, Solo Wildcamera, how do you do it? Like, are you not scared? You know, do you not think the blah, blah, blah? Look, solo camping is what you make of it. If you're going to sit there and be anxious and all this other stuff and think what's going to happen then you're probably not going to enjoy yourself for me it's remembering to be in the moment right there and then enjoy what you're doing you know breathe relax put on some music you know for me i have a little pocket radio that just just sets the mood for me i have a little bit of football music whatever it is while i'm doing all my little bits of cooking or setting up or you know filming whatever it is you know the best bit of advice I would say is get out and do it once you commit to it and once you're out there it's very hard to turn back especially if you've walked a couple of hours up a mountain uh, it makes you a little bit more focused to stay there and get it done so yeah my tip is just get out and do it don't think about it you know thinking about it too much can cause you to overthink you know, if I've got all the right kit, blah, 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 all this other stuff. You know, pack as you normally would. And just go for it and enjoy it. That's what it's about. You know, if you're not coming out and you're not enjoying it when you're wild camping, and camping, what are you doing? Why are you doing it for? Or what are you doing it for? You know, what are your motivations? So for me, I get a nice refresh. It's a time to digest. Yeah, lads exactly it's a time to digest everything that's gone on you know if you've got problems or whatever you can work through those you know because sometimes in a busy life you don't get time to think things through um, and this is a perfect opportunity to do so anyway if you, if you do want some help or you need some help or maybe you want to get out on a wild camp I'm happy to meet up some of the Facebook groups are absolutely brilliant get on there there's like-minded people who are interested in um, wild camping and I'm sure they'll help you out as well. 
Anyway, guys, I'm going to sign off now. I've got about two k to go. It's very, very flat. Um, there's not much to see. I will, I'll film something, film something if there's anything to see along there. But uh, once again, thank you very much for tuning in. And until next time, peace out.